Hey, what's up guys? So the Battlefield 5 reveal trailer has been released and it has been extremely, uh, I guess, controversial to say the least. If you look at the like to dislike ratio, it's like one to one right now. Um, a lot of people are leaving comments saying how they disapprove of the game and hashtag not my battlefield and all that mess, right? So the biggest criticism with this game right now is the customization system. It's practically Call of Duty World War II all over again. Um, it's even worse this time though. So regardless of facts and statistics, you can play, you can customize your character however you want. If you wanna be a female, if you wanna be a black guy, Hispanic guy, or an Asian guy, you can play however you want. So facts and statistics thrown right out the window in the name of inclusivity and diversity. And this super inclusive and diverse customization system would be fantastic. I think it's a really good idea, just not for World War II. Right, so I think it would work really good if they would have did maybe Vietnam minus the women or you know Cold War or something like that, just a futuristic title maybe. It would have been perfect for the for a game of that you know setting. But the fact that they led everybody on to believing this would be a you know realistic, uh, I guess depiction of World War II where you're you're thinking of you know the invasion of Normandy and Stalingrad and Berlin and you know the campaign of North Africa. Um, this customization system really just kind of shot all that right in the foot and I think it's going to shoot even more features right in the foot And the more I thought about the reveal event I started thinking about the Pacific theater because this was all focused obviously over on the eastern front, right? So I started focusing or thinking about the Pacific theater and I'm pretty sure this customization system is going to allow us Or I guess not allow us to see the Pacific theater now if I have to remind you what the Pacific theater was Let me let me let me tune you in real quick, right? The Pacific Theater was the Allied forces fighting the Imperial Japanese Army. The Imperial Japanese Army. These were Japanese men fighting for the Imperial Japanese Army. That's just the way it is, right? Now, I think you can kind of see how this customization system and the Imperial Japanese Army aren't going to mix very well. So, DICE would have three ways of implementing the Pacific Theater. They would have, A, you can customize your Japanese soldier however you want to. So if you want to make your Japanese soldier white, black, or Hispanic, you can, right? You can customize it to be a woman. You can customize your Japanese character however you want, just as freely as you can customize all of the, the factions fighting over in the Eastern Front. I think people could understand how that would be extremely um, stupid. I don't know how there's people standing up for, you know, the all the diversity in the Eastern Front forces, but I think people could really see how goofy that would be, you know, if you saw a bunch of white and black dudes running around for the Imperial Army. I think that would just be really dumb, and everybody everybody could agree that would be stupid. And that would cause a giant, you know, that would be another clusterfuck because it's, it's, it's even more diversity that doesn't belong in World War II. It's obvious diversity that doesn't belong in World War II. Now, the second option, which would work, but then again, it wouldn't work, would be to implement the Japanese army with a bunch of restrictions. So the Japanese army would have to remain looking like the Japanese army, as in it would be Japanese men, and all you can customize is their uniform and you know their, their facial structure, their hair, and their facial hair and stuff like that. Um, now that would work perfectly fine for the Japanese army, but that would totally undermine their whole customization system because none of the other forces that are already able to be super diverse in this game were actually diverse in real life. You know, why, why would you make the Japanese army, uh, I guess, historical, historically accurate when you're smudging the historical accuracy of all of the other forces fighting in this game? You know, a few, maybe hundred soldiers fighting for the Russian army and for the, the French resistance, which was just a militia of French civilians, doesn't justify the super wide, um, customization of all of these different forces that fought in World War II. So I I don't think this option would work because, I mean, it would work perfectly fine, but then again, if they're going to do these these uh, limitations, they should have already did the limitations um, for all of the other forces. Now, the third and final option, which I believe is what DICE is going to go with, is to just not include the Pacific Theater at all, right? Because 
This customization system would not work with the Imperial Army whatsoever, and I don't think that they would feel comfortable, you know, smudging the reputation of the Imperial Army, even though they're smudging the reputation of all of the other fighting forces uh, with this stupid customization system. I just don't think they're going to do it for the Imperial Army and the Pacific Theater. You know, that, that those two obviously have to go together, and they're just not going to do that. And that really is a big bummer, man, because I love the Pacific Theater. Um, the last time I've played, you know, a World War II game that actually showed off the Pacific theater was uh, Call of Duty World at War and that was like 10 years ago I mean that game came out in 2008 so it's been quite a long time since you know I think a lot of people have seen the Pacific theater and it really does uh, it, it gets lost in all of the Eastern Front you know uh, conflict and everything people just totally forget about the Pacific theater a lot and you know it, it's a big bummer it's a lot of missed potential um, this game within and the graphics they have and you know the the, the gameplay and everything would have went perfectly well um, you know, with the geography and the, the beauty of those islands that they fought on. Um, but that, that's just, unfortunately, you know, it, it has to be that way. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be seeing the Pacific Theater um, in Battlefield 5. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Let me know what option you guys think that they're going to go with. I'm pretty sure they're not going to include it, but that's just me. Have a good day, guys. Peace.